Hey everyone, let's look at how to solve this quadratic equation here by completing the square. If you're having trouble remembering the steps to complete the square, watch my How to Complete the Square, the Simple Way video by clicking here. Okay, so the first step in completing the square is to look at the x coefficient and take half of it. So in this case, the x coefficient is negative 6. So let's take that over here, and we'll do negative 6 divided by 2, and that's going to give us negative 3. Now, step 2 says to take that number and square it. So negative 3 squared is going to give us 9. Now, step 3 says to add 0. Now, what we mean by that is we need to rewrite our expression here, but we're going to add 9 and subtract 9 while we do it, effectively adding 0 and not changing the problem. So we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 16 equals 0. Now, if we just focus on the first three terms here and bracket them off like this, we can see that they make the perfect square x minus 3. So that's equal to x minus 3 squared. And if we look at these constants here, we can combine those. And those are going to give us negative 25. And that's going to be equal to 0. OK, so now we can start trying to solve for x. So the first thing we need to do is add 25 to each side. And when we do that, we're going to get x minus 3 squared equals 25. OK, so the next thing we need to do is take the square root of both sides. And remember, when we take the square root of a number, we have to consider the positive and negative value of the square root. Because 5 times 5 equals 25, and negative 5 times negative 5 also equals 25. So they're both the square root. OK, so after we do that, we're going to get x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5. Now we can add 3 to both sides, and we've solved for x and we get x equals plus or minus 5 plus 3. And I think it's easier to read if we rewrite that as x equals 3 plus or minus 5. OK, so these are the two values of x that make our polynomial equal 0. So the first value is x equals 3 plus 5 and we can simplify that to x equals 8. And the second value is x equals 3 minus 5. And we can simplify that to x equals minus 2. And that's how we solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.